In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to convert an image from S-Log3 to Rec709. So to follow along, you can download the conversion lot and the video clip I'm going to use in this video from the link provided in the description below. Let's begin by opening Premiere Pro and importing the video clip we'll be working with. So we have Premiere Pro open up. We're going to click on File, then select Import. I have the file in my documents folder, so I'm going to select it here, select import. Now you're going to select the file for wherever you have it stored on your computer and click import. And then you're going to just drag it to this icon. Oh, hold on. Let me open up the screen a bit. I'm going to drag it to this icon to create a new timeline or a new sequence. Next, let's create a new adjustment layer. So I'm going to click right here to select the project panel. Once I have the project panel selected, I'm going to right click, say new item, new adjustment layer. Click OK. Once this adjustment layer would have been created, I'm going to drag it above the video clip we want to edit. Now, before you do anything, you want to make sure you're working in the right in the right workspace. You may open up Premiere Pro and you might be in the editing workspace. You want to ensure that you're, you're in the color workspace. So you're going to go to the top. Select Window, Workspaces, then Color. Okay, with the color panel open and the adjustment layer selected, we're going to go to the Basic Correction tab. Select Input LUT, then Browse. And this is where you're going to locate that, that LUT that I gave you in the description. So I think I have it in my Downloads folder here. It's called S Gamma 3. I'm going to click Open. Bam. So now we, we converted the image from S-Log3 to Rec709. Now let's make some slight adjustments to the image. But before we make the adjustments to the image, we want to make sure we have the S-Log3 clip selected. The reason for that is on the, on the S-Log3 video layer, there's a lot more data to work with than on the, the adjustment layer. Let me explain. Let me, let me show it to you. So this is what's happening with the image right now. This is the video clip here. It's S-Log3. This video layer is sending the information up to the adjustment layer. In the adjustment layer, the, the lot is taking the information. Convert it's, it's a computer uh it's, it's it's a computer process, right? So the lot takes the lot says, hey, okay, I see you're sending me a slog tree footage. No problem. Boop, 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 boop. I'm gonna send that over to Rec 709. But once it goes over to Rec 709, now it, it, there's a lot less information for you to work with. So let me show you. Looking at these two circles, S log 3, Rec 709. The circle for S log 3 is a lot bigger than the circle for Rec 709. Reason being, you, you refer to these as what you call color spaces. The S log 3 color space is a lot larger than the Rec 709 color space. So once you send this data over to Rec 709, now we, you start making changes on the adjustment layer. You're working with a lot less information. Let me explain what I mean by that. This is what you call a CIE diagram. I created this diagram, so it's not an official diagram. I only created it for reference purposes of this video. Now, this diagram shows you all of the colors visible to the human eye. And then this triangle represents all of the colors that your, the S-Log3 color space can capture. And this green triangle represents all of the color spaces that the Rec 709 color space can capture. So right away, you can see if you're editing, if you're making the changes on the S-Log3 layer, you're working with a lot more colors than on the Rec 709 layer. You understand? So big circle, more, more, color, more colors, more information to work with, small colors, less information to work with. You can make the changes on the Rec 709 layer or the adjustment layer. But you would be working with a lot less more information. So let now let's go back to the let's go back into Premiere and edit the video. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure I have the S Lock tree layer selected. Let me just adjust my screen here a bit. And then looking at my waveform, I'm just gonna make some slight adjustments to my blacks. I'm going to raise the highlights a bit to adjust the exposure. Bring up the shadows a bit more. I'm going to increase my saturation a bit. Oh, yeah, before before we did all of that, I really should have adjusted the white balance, but I'm going to do it after now. I'm going to use the white dress as a reference to get the white balance selected correctly. 
And there you have it. We took the image from this to that. And this is a very simple conversion. There's a lot more you can do with color correction and color grading, but I hope this helped you. So like the video, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.